In this video tutorial, we're going to be working in CorelDRAW and taking a look at creating design elements from image components. Bitmaps have components just like vector. They're color components. And we're going to work with the color components in this image to create this design element, which is a monochrome bitmap, which you can work very effectively with in Corel, and we can change the colors of it and see how different colors look on our designs. I'll change that back to a white. To get started, I'll duplicate this just so we have that for a reference, and then right down here, left click, hold down, right click one time, duplicate the image. First thing I'll do is some analysis with the eyedropper, see what I've got for colors here. We can see there's a lot of 111, it's not a pure black, and I want to change that to a pure black. So with the image selected, I'm going to go to Effects. I'm going to go to adjust and then I'm going to go to tone curve. I'm going to reset that. I'm going to change my style to straight. I'm going to pull because those 111, 222, 333, they're all over in here. So I'll pull that down into a black right about there and select OK, X14 more or less. Then I'm going to go to effects adjust and I'm going to get rid of that black and I'll do that with a channel mixer and I'll reset that so you can see how to do this here. We'll go to the color model, we'll change that to CMYK, we'll go to the output channel of black and we'll change that to zero. Select OK. Now all we've got is the white or the chromaticity and the color. Now we want to get rid of the color and get a grayscale. Go to Effects, Adjust, Desaturate. Now that's done. Now at this point what I want to do is crop this. So I'm going to zoom in here a bit. Go to the Crop tool, left click, hold down, bring that right to the middle line of the mask. Make sure I'm on the middle there. I am. And then click Crop. Now that created a bug. Sometimes when you bring a bitmap into Corel, it's a good idea to convert it to a bitmap in Corel if you're having problems with it. So it's like a native format or a native file format to Corel. I'll hit Control Z and go back. I'll go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, make that a grayscale. Don't need a transparent background. Select OK. Then I'll go with the crop tool again over here. Make sure I'm on the center of the mask. Come in here on the side a little bit, and then I'll click on Crop, and that worked. Go to my Pick tool, come over here, left click, hold down, right click one time, hold down Control so it flips perfectly. There I've got my mask. I'll hold down Shift and select the other bitmap that I just made the duplicate from. Bitmap, convert to bitmap, we'll go with the grayscale again, select OK. Now I want to make that a little bit darker. So I'll go to Effects and I'll go to Adjust and I'll go to Tone Curve again. And I'll reset that, set my style to straight. I'll bring this over, go here to center left click and just pull down to the right corner. And you can see I'm making that quite a bit darker, giving it more contrast. Select OK. At this point, I want to convert this to a monochrome bitmap. I'll do that with my simple steps because it's easy and fast. I'll bring that up. OK. I'll come over here to Tools, and I'll go to a normal conversion. Now I have a monochrome bitmap from simple steps. Now this has color properties, which we can see down here at the bottom. There's the fill, there's the outline. I can make the fill transparent, left click one time. I can change the foreground color with a right click to a yellow. See what that looks like. Delete this and then I'll bring this over here and duplicate it over on the design. And there you can see is the design element coming from the bitmap that I got from Pixabay. Zoom out, I can resize that a little bit if I want to. Bring that into the center. See what it looks like as a yellow, or just stay with the white. But you can see how I easily made that design element from that bitmap 
by working with the color components in the bitmap. A little bit different way of working with bitmaps and creating design elements for your t-shirt graphics or designs. If I want an added effect to the text, I could select all of that, come down here to the bottom, right click, I'll change that to curves, multiple objects, properties bar, I'll weld those. I'll go to my fashion factory, bring that up, no updates, and I'll go to textures, system textures, I'll go to the cracks category, maybe I'll go with this one here, apply texture as transparency, now I'm just going to have to change the background and foreground on that. So I'll go to the interactive transparency tool. I'll come over here and I'll change the, and that was the foreground transparency and I'll change the background transparency to 100. And now we can dial that effect just how we want it, working with the interactive transparency tool on that text in Corel Draw. So we can see that we can do many different things working with monochromes and transparencies and things like that in Corel Draw in our design process. We took this image and we took it apart by taking the black away, desaturating it, and then basically breaking it in half, duplicating the one side, then making some adjustments, converting that to a monochrome, and now we've got a design element here and we can look at it. It's different colors. There's a yellow what it would look like is a red. We can see how that would look and that's pretty wild, you know, as a red or orange or something like that, or maybe like this purple, but I'll change that back to a white. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.